Okay, so our e-trailer generator we got to use on our big trip to uh, New Mexico, Texas, and we put right at 25 hours on it. It did amazing. Uh, it worked great for charging up our batteries that we used overnight. Um, we ran my coffee pot on it and the toaster on it um i can't remember what else of course the lights the fan our little electric skillet our little electric yeah um well yeah hot plate thing mm -hmm. yeah we run that and it it did great um the it got a little noisier of course when we run like the uh toaster because that draws a lot of juice but it still was not extremely loud so the uh, manual recommends that you change the oil after the first 25 hours of use and we are right there close to that 25 hours of use so we're going to uh, change the oil today all right so we got the cover off and that is the drain plug and then Ooh, if I put my hand in there, you're not going to see. This little rectangle rubber push up from the bottom. And then you kind of pull it out of the way. We'll have to probably finagle it a little bit there. There you go. And so your oil will drain through. Of course, we'll have to put a pan because we don't want it draining on our garage floor. But uh, so that's how you open up the bottom. In order to get the oil to drain out okay so we just got this uh, cut off piece of an old oil jug thing to easily drain the oil into and we do have it tilted because it does need to be tilted in order to get that oil to drain out of there and we also started it and let it run for a minute or two to heat the oil up that way if there are any contaminants in there it's gonna bust it up make them move around and that way when we drain it it'll drain them out too which that is stated in the uh, manual correct yes okay. and he's what he's doing is he's removing that uh, oil plug which obviously is pretty long. <laughs> yeah, and when you have big hands, it doesn't help much. There's not a lot of room in there. Okay, and there you can see, got the plug out and the oil is draining into our fancy little oil bin there. So it bends the crankcase a little bit, so maybe it'll flow out a little bit. This might be fun. And like I said, they didn't really make this for people with big hands, so it is kind of a pain to get them started back. But You want to make sure you get that snugged down because you don't want your wools oozing out there. And of course, tighten that back down. Alright, so now we'll just put the new oil in it and it should be ready for, I think it's another 100 hours yep. before you do it again. Uh -huh. so. I believe so. Be sure and check your manual for all those recommendations and specifications. Okay, so we kept the original little bottle of uh, that had oil in it that came with the generator. 
and we refilled it that way we make sure we always put the right amount of oil in the generator when we change the oil this was a brand new quart and you can kind of see how much it takes um i can't quite see where it's at but it's not quite three-fourths i don't think of the uh, quart but we think that's a good way to always make sure we have the right amount of oil in our generator and that saves us a little bit extra for if we need to top it off at some point or something okay so she's all filled back up with oil and ready to go for our next camping adventure i also want to say that we purchased from e-trailer this altitude jet which is good for six thousand to eight thousand feet because we do have future trips planned where we are going to be plus five thousand feet for sure and so we wanted to make sure that we have the correct uh, equipment installed um, we are not going to install that today because we don't need it yet but uh we do have it for when we need it and i think it was only like around eight dollars or something like that for that jet and you can get um also get regular replacement ones and stuff like that so if you get an e-trailer generator just know that you can also get those parts to go with it um, i will drop a link to e-trailer we are not affiliated with e-trailer we're just giving our review of this generator and that we really really like it we are happy with our purchase so i will drop a link to them down below um obviously it's etrailer.com if you haven't checked them out you might want to because they do have several different kinds of generators different wattages and you know styles whatever thanks for watching if you enjoyed our video please give it a thumbs up don't forget to subscribe to our channel and hit that notification bell so you'll know when we upload new videos we hope to see you again on our next happy adventure